let's talk about 5G coverage. 5G has come a long way since it first took off in 2020, but where is it now? Who has the most and how fast is it? I'll give you a hint. It hasn't really changed all that much, but we have a little bit of new information and I'm going to give you a well-rounded look at what the landscape of 5G is right now. I'm Sherry, your telecom expert with Whistle Out. Our average upload speeds have increased pretty significantly over the years. Right now with 5G in play, the average 5G upload speeds are as follows. T-Mobile is in the lead and they have been in the lead for a while. Their average download speeds are 287 Mbps. Next we have Verizon with 224 Mbps on average. And then lastly, we have AT&T coming in at 145 Mbps. Mbps on average, T-Mobile is absolutely crushing it here. So we have the average 5G speeds from the big three carriers, but what about their 5G coverage? We have some proprietary information here along with other sources that we've gathered to give you the percentages and coverage maps of the three major carriers. T-Mobile is first place when it comes to percentage and coverage of 5G in the United States. They have 53% coverage. Next is AT&T with 30% coverage and Verizon comes in last with coverage at just 12 to 14%. Somewhere in there is about how much coverage Verizon has in the United States. Now, Verizon focuses more heavily on high band 5G, which is much faster. AT&T is focusing on more of a low band coverage, which covers a lot of space, but isn't as fast. So while AT&T is winning in coverage, they aren't winning in speeds. Verizon is just going with a different kind of tactic here when building out their 5G network. Let's break it down even further in terms of coverage. For T-Mobile, their best coverage is east of Oklahoma. It looks really great on that side of the country, on the western side of the country. They have a lot of gaps when it comes to 5G, but the East Coasters are loving life right now with T-Mobile coverage. When we look at Verizon's coverage map, they have the best 5G coverage in New Jersey, Maryland, California, and Florida. Those seem to be their top spaces, and everywhere else is very dismal. But if you live in one of those places and a few other places along the eastern United States, well then Verizon 5G is probably doing really well for you. Lastly, we have AT&T. Now AT&T is best in Massachusetts, New Jersey, Maryland, Florida, Ohio, and Minnesota because they have a little bit of a larger footprint. Everywhere else though, just like Verizon, does not look real great. How is 5G in your area from any of the major carriers? I would love to hear how it's been for you. Let me know in the comments below. I'm Sherry, your telecom expert with Whistle Out.